Springtime in Texas means one thing for a lot of folks, Texas wildflowers, specifically our state flower, the Texas blue bonnet. But in at least one bed of blue bonnets, a new danger lurks, and it ain't a rattlesnake. I'm Andrew Rausch, and this is The Hook Investigates. When news breaks, The Hook is there, fighting for you. I'm here by the UT Tower, where a variety of Texas blue bonnet called Alamo Fire, which fades from pink to maroon, has been discovered. Now, this variety was originally developed by Texas A&M scientists, which leads some to believe that this may be a devious Aggie prank. Hoax or scientific anomaly? We took that question to the people. Do you think Aggies are responsible for this, or is it just a freak fluke of nature? I don't know. It's something they might do. Mm -hmm but I couldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm not friends with any Aggies, so that's all I know. Some people think that this is a prank. Do you think this may have happened accidentally in nature, or do you think Aggies did this on purpose? I think Aggies did this on purpose. I do. Do you guys think this is probably a prank by the Aggies? Uh, no, I mean, they're just flowers. I mean, I that wouldn't be a pretty cool prank, I think. But, um, I mean, I guess it's possible. Kind of a lame prank. Yeah, what do you think? I don't know, like, if they're natural, then it makes sense for them to just, like, be growing, but, I don't know, that would be a really dumb prank. I don't know. Maybe we should put some orange flowers on their campus. <laughs> no, if we're going to prank them, <laughs> we should do something cool. <laughs> Good, I, I like that. So that's what the people think, but we wanted to get down to the real story here on The Hook Investigates, so we spoke to an expert, Alcalde Assistant Editor Chris O'Connell. When the crack team over at the Alcalde got wind of this story, they knew assistant editor and relentless news hound Chris O'Connell was the man for the job. He's been with it since the very beginning. This is the man behind the story, Chris O'Connell. Thank you for being with us. Of course. Tell us what's going to happen now. In one word, Andrew, nothing. The maroon blue bonnet is here to stay, at least for now. Uh, the initial report was that they were going to be removed this week or early next week. Now what we're hearing is that they're going to stay. Meaning only natural selection can take away the maroon blue bonnets now. I sure hope so. Me too, Chris. Me too. To get the latest on this story as it develops, you can read Chris's reporting down in the description below. You can also keep up with the latest UT news at thehook.texasx.org. For The Hook Investigates, I'm Andrew Rauch.